Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new map change video in the brand new version 12.60 update. There's been a bunch of map changes across the entire Fortnite universe and I thought I'd cover them all for you guys today, including some upcoming changes and leaks as well for you guys to keep you updated. The first map change we have is our beloved hut, which we've been watching now for a good amount of time and this seems to be getting expanded. You can see here, it looks like what's really interesting about it is the chairs themselves are actually being slightly taken out of this situation there was a lot of chairs to start with and it looks like they're slowly starting to be cleared up by these other new smaller trucks that have come in and taken a few of the chairs away and a few of the pallets maybe they're moving them further down or they're just completely removing them entirely definitely something interesting which we should all keep our eye on in the Fortnite community Midas's chair hasn't moved little change for you guys right there also we have the crane itself again hasn't moved either still remains in the exact same spot so no changes over at them spots also guys one really interesting map change is mr pipe man himself the pipe man is still remaining kind of on this coastline now he's chilling sat down looking towards the sea could this be a hint towards maybe a giant wave or a season free event don't forget guys smash a like in the next five seconds if you'd like to return to an og point of interest like lazy links during season three or could it be hinting something towards the doomsday event i don't know what do you guys think in the comment section down below definitely an interesting one though i'm pretty excited to see what pipe man is going to do also we have a few little changes which i've noticed i feel like when flying around the map there seems to be a lot of smaller clouds up in the sky personally i've never really experienced these before and i thought definitely this has to be a little minor change could be something to do with the storm being controlled for the upcoming event and that leads on to us talk a little bit about some of the upcoming files for the event I just want to quickly say if you haven't already roughly 80% of you guys aren't subscribed it's simply free to subscribe I'm a legit source a legit creator so consider smashing that subscribe button let's try and get to 525,000 subscribers so smash that subscribe thank you everybody supporting me there I'm your hashtag number one daily map change story and Fortnite news source so first off I thought I'd show off this screenshot which we've seen on the stream this is officially called the storm the agency loading screen which is part of the storm the agency challenge set where you can gain access to free free items which is including a pickaxe a glider and a wrap and a bunch of xp you can see a screenshot of that and this screenshot itself you can see on screen is clearly the brand new shadow skin sieging the agency against the ghost what's really awesome about this it also has a description for this item which actually states the wind of change are blowing. So it's hinting towards shadow invading this location. Now this is actually part of a brand new set, which we've just seen recently been leaked. And that set is the Renegade set. This is gonna be Renegade Shadow, step out, of the shadows and state your claim but it also has a ghost variant as well some really exciting stuff it clearly is shadow in the screenshot note when you zoom on its chest piece you can see the shadow mark which i didn't notice on stream also we have potentially the recon expert returning to the item shop because it has a brand new variant this would be a great change i'd love that to actually return at some point in Fortnite's history. Next little map change I've got for you guys is coming from the agency. We officially have the countdown now for the agency above the agency in a preview format. So it's not just in the game yet, but it will be very soon. This is coming as soon as it can when the countdown begins for the event, it's gonna be above the agency. Are we gonna see shadow changes over there? Potentially. Let me know in the comments right now are you team ghost or are you team shadow and which team are you guys going to be supporting taking control of the agency towards the end of the season or are you a third party if you're a third party team let me know in the comments down below just say third party if you support a different team with code postbox pat so if you guys go and enter in code postbox pat to your item shop i'm a hashtag epic games partner and thank you everybody supporting me over there also guys moving on to some other map changes we are going to check out the classic gnome location. So it looks like the gnomes have been a big part of the storyline throughout this season, but nothing really has happened with them just yet. So I thought we'd jump in to go and see if anything has changed with them on this final week. 
And it looks like the gnomes are still down here in the prison with some sort of render issue going on. I thought we would have seized the fire with the secret challenge, which I'll show you guys the location of if you haven't already done it. But you can see this is where the gnomes and teddy war is, and it still is in replay rendering like this. It may render slightly different in game for you, but for now, I'm not too sure what's going on with this story. Hopefully, it will be continued next season. We can see that the seized fire has officially come to an end. And as you head over to here, you know this is the secret challenge location. If you haven't already landed here, do do that because you get a bunch of XP for free by disarming the gnomes and obviously disarming the misfit toys or the teddies. And that will give you a free bunch of XP, an achievement, and some really awesome stuff. Over in the party mode, we officially have some new changes over there which are worth a mention. These changes include a brand new music keyboard on the floor and the brand new kind of design with the music music notes should i say on the wall as well and obviously you can play that keyboard if you somehow magically can it's quite a difficult thing to do but potentially you might be able to get it to work i don't know i could get it to work but it's quite hard to play it's not as easy as simply playing a keyboard as it would be in real life then obviously we have the grappler and jetpack which is a new addition as well in the party mode very nice little minor changes there but these are going to come handy in especially when watching events when people are consistently pinging you with the bounce pads it's almost a guarantee that but you still can ping people but now you have your jetpack and grappler which is really awesome it's not unlimited fuel and it's not an unlimited grappler though so they will run out but you know it's cool and it is definitely worth maybe using if you guys can because they're pretty cool and pretty fun to try out in this mode also the shop where the jetpacks are collected from with the little kind of cup on top of it has had a few minor changes to it nothing too much it's just had the addition of a few a few machines and easier accessibility to grab access to that jetpack other than that this section of the map is still all the same on the party mode side of stuff i will consistently continue to cover party mode map changes for you guys so you guys can be 100 percent up to date with all of the party mode stuff next up i have the brand new creative hub this hub is an insane design and really gives me the vibes of lord of the rings with the hobbit vibe it's very nicely done it also gives me an elvet vibe as well with the floating islands i think the buildings on this are insanely done with obviously the greenery all of the trees and this hub is one of the most simplest hubs but one of the most nice looking hubs out of them all so i had to add it in today's map change video because it's one of my favorite hubs this it probably is my favorite hub this season due to it being such a simple design very well done from the creator and i'm very glad they've decided to add this one in so thank you very much again fortnite for selecting this hub i wouldn't have seen it otherwise it's a great design and has some very unique designs the way they've put the green on the buildings and have the doors and the entrances is really unique you don't see this in many creative maps to this sort of level and just generally looking at this building it makes me actually want to live here it's such a cool design i love the little secret passage and there is also a secret quest line inside of this creative hub we may continue to complete this creative quest line in a separate video if i think it's necessary but i'll show you guys some of the locations of that quest line you know that creative has had a few additional changes for those that don't already know that creative now gives you access to go to a few different sections which you probably weren't aware of there is a custom matchmaking in there as well now where you can match make and fill mini games if you would like to do that which is pretty fun so give it a try if you've got some time free go and give creative a go it's definitely worth a try the clock tower is so nice these builds are just beautiful the designs are awesome and with the sunset that it always seems to give us in the replay on creative it always looks extremely better than most other things that we see in the final universe so this definitely deserves an honorable mention shout out to the creator of this one i couldn't actually spot their name in the hub but it's a great design and you know i love it go and check it out for yourselves if you want to see who actually built it and it's cool because just generally speaking this sort of stuff's awesome with all the easter eggs and all the smaller minor map changes that we see around the hub itself you just don't generally see this a lot you can see there's actually an easter egg out here over at the sea so we'll go over here and show you guys the easter egg that you can see it's pretty cool and it definitely is worth having a little look at you can see it just here some minor things nothing too major but you can see we've kind of got the flamingo a bunch of plants and obviously a huge kind of like secret which you can obviously send to him if you manage to find this in game maybe don't use replay to do it though i guess replay is just cheating but it's part of the fortnite features which i always take part in anyway 
even if it is classed as cheating. Anyway, that's everything on this hub. We have one final little thing for you guys coming in on creative, which I thought definitely deserved an honorable mention because this sort of stuff is something you just generally do not see. And that is what you can see on screen right now, the actual addition of the mecha and the robot inside of Fortnite Creative. It's a great new addition to the game and will really spice up the game a lot if you are interested in using the parts from the robot, including the sword, to build any construction. I'd love to see someone build a house out of these parts, a very good looking house as well. It'd be really interesting to see if anyone did attempt to do that. And including the monster parts as well. You can get every little part from the monster. Each tooth's an individual piece. The eyes are kind of like half and half pieces. You're definitely gonna be able to build some really cool creatures with these parts and mix up the design of the monster. So if anyone has a really artistic approach and would like to give it a good go, you can go and give it a shot. And one little Easter egg I mentioned on my live stream earlier today, I actually said how the green is going around here. This is actually an Easter egg back from season nine when I originally streamed this sort of stuff. This was actually part of my Easter egg video. I talked about how this actually developed over the 20 minutes after the event. So this vines originally, when the monster was formed, it was just all plain white and it developed into this kind of like texture that we see it right here. It was actually slightly more green on the official map but you can check that Easter egg video out if you've got some time. Go and have a look at my event Easter eggs from season nine. Very cool, definitely worth a watch. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you are new around here, do smash subscribe, do smash a like on the video, and thank you so much for watching right to the end. It's great to see that Mecca is back. Definitely check him out if you've got some time. Much love and respect. I'll see you guys in the future on other content on screen. Go and click on screen right now if you've missed some of my other videos. I'll see you guys over there.